Hello everyone, welcome. So, in like, probably one of the worst steelbooks, I mean there's a lot of bad steelbooks out there in this world. <laughs> and like, steelbooks kind of like, to me now are on to 4K, like oh, they all come out now and they're just 4K, it's like they dibble dabbled when they brought them out on DVD, like Die, Die Hard 4.0, Death Race, you know there's some random, random steelbooks on DVD, the Bourne trilogy for example. And then obviously coming into Blu-ray, Arrow, you know, banging them out there, banging them out, you know, limited editions, and the limited editions go from being like just the steelbook to then the fat editions, and then films, you know, like left, right, and center. I mean, like DC's one company, Marvel's the other, Disney getting involved, steelbooks, this are first editions, you know, it's like we made Casper, I mean, it's been on the channel loads, Casper, but he has fucking thousands of steelbooks, and me personally. It's stuff like, I've got a few steelbooks here, which I'll keep because they're either Corey Hame or Corey Feldman. I think that's one of the Lost Boys is over there. But like, Stand By Me, you know, you don't get that, it's gone. I've seen that go for a ridiculous amount of money. The Burbs, we got first edition of the Gremlins, they've then brought another Gremlins out, the Goonies. I think I've got about three steelbooks of the Goonies. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. And like, even stuff like Street Fighter only comes out with steelbooks, but there's a lot of, you know, bad decisions for steelbooks i mean burbs classic cover a little bit darker stand by me probably one of the better covers they've ever done do you know what i mean gremlins has the original cover on the back but you know that it's kind of bookmarked in goonies probably one of the best steelbook looking you know classic artwork cover but now it's just like the map or scratching and you think that could just look like pirates of the caribbean it doesn't really establish the goonies Classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles popping out the sewer. So again, you look at steelbooks and you go, hmm. Now, they've been doing some more recent stuff with um, like the Lost Boys, they've changed it up, there's Michael and stuff like that. Um, and if you look at like, they've been doing import ones, so they tried doing like Japanese influences ones, Jaws, Back to the Future and stuff like that. So it's getting collected and collected and collected and like, but again, it's like a reason to collect. And then you get like, wow, that's not nice, like that, and I'll show you one. <laughs> now this video has been inspired by picking this up at a really, really cheap price, and today I also picked up George. There's an action figure from a boot sale for 50 quid, proper, hard, robust, and if you went for a special edition for Rampage, that would be pretty cool if you got like the mascot in. To actually have the steelbook next to. Now I went to the pictures to see Rampage and now you know that the steelbook I'm talking about is Rampage and I'm not talking about the brand new Japanese edition they've brought out as a new series as a trade-wide thing. You know what I mean? So I think Ready Player One and Rampage are the first and then the Japanese inspired artwork. Now when you went to the pictures to see Rampage you got that artwork. I don't have it now it's stuck up at the wall at work but again I went to the pictures to see Rampage it's funny, it's exactly what it is, and for some reason it's meant to be in the multiverse. Multiverse, monsterverse. You know, you can get it in the box set with Godzilla for some reason. Now, George and the King Kong mold have been copied and painted white for King Kong, painted with George and black for King Kong. But we're talking about the steelbook. Now, if we're talking about the steelbook. I want to open it because there it is. You know, I don't know what's on the back, but here's the problem. First off, you can't see Dwayne Johnson. And then Rampage, Big Meets Bigger. What's the film called? Rampage, Big Meets Bigger. I don't have it, that's what it's called. Now you can get in an argument with people and go, have you got Crazy Rich Aliens in? You mean Crazy Rich Asians? You know, it's like sometimes, like the amount of people I think Edge of Tomorrow is called Eat, Eat Lives, <laughs> Eat Live, Die, Repeat, whatever. You know, like what's the film called? The Mandela Effect. Now, I picked this up because I do enjoy the film and I didn't have it on Blu-ray and it was ridiculously cheap, like three or four pound cheap. Oh well, so, fucking glue, man. But yeah, so the front cover, man, with George on there. Look at that. Why would you use the same size font for Rampage, Big Meets Bigger? It's on the spine. Rampage is big beats bigger. It's on the disc as Rampage. So it's not like me going, 
Was it really cool? Big means bigger. Now on the back, you've got the crocodile jumping out, which is cool, but it's a blurry still of it. You know, um, it's just so bad now. The cord's not going to work. The cord ran out in 2019. So that's four years. The steelbook's been knocking around. It's actually the 4K. No, it's not. It's the 3D. Now inside is the wolf as well, so there's some really good stills on it, but it's a pretty bad steelbook. Now I would love to go over to Casper's and sit there for hours, and I, hopefully one day I might. He might actually let us do this, you know. I might put it to him and go, dude, can we do this? Can we come and have a look and see what the best steelbook is and the worst steelbook is and let me have a pick as well? Because if you look at speed and it's just a dial, you think, fucking hell. You know, if you've got speed, right? You could clearly make that look like the front of the bus. You know what I mean? Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock behind the wheel. Speed. You know, the new 4K cover would look bitching on a steelbook. But no, speed dial. Do you know what I mean? Um, but as I say, steelbooks, it's like hit or miss, man. All the time. Um, Predators had three or four. There's some really nice stuff out there. But like that, to me, I mean, at the end of the day, I might put in there. Pretty cool. You know, and that could have been a set. But there you go, this is uh, the stickers. Hi. This video is running out of steam. See you in the outtakes. I've just been given Casper loads of grief. I've just went in there and looked at my steelbook collection and it's like, I didn't even realize I had that. And you know what's even worse? I've just recently moved them as well to where they are now and started grouping them together because that's where I looked before and I went Lost Boys and I went, where the fuck's the Lost Boys at? And I, I've put in the Steelbook collection. I was just like, so how come I didn't end up leaving one here? And the, the Corey Haim, Corey Feldman collection. So that's baffled me. Anyway, I went in there and I just had a quick look and went, that's the worst Steelbook I think I own. And this is one of the best. So what do you want the best or the worst first? Hmm? Let's go for the best. Now I picked this up because it was a cheap steelbook, you knock nothing about the film, but it looked awesome, okay? It's cold in July. This film is fucking brilliant. Next day, bought the score. Got it on Blu-ray stand as well. Um, cold in July, um, it's got uh, Michael C. Hall from Dexter in it. Sam Shepard and Don Johnson. And if you look at it, jazz video, Blu-ray disc. It looks like a VHS. And that, again, was a clear out on Zavi ages ago. So it just looks like a VHS, cool in July. Put it on, had no idea what I was watching. Glued, absolutely glued, all right? And again, you know, it kind of just looks like a slip. You would pull the VHS out and you're just unique. But again, to make a steelbook out of a film, it's kind of like if you're an artist and you've got a CD, do you make a vinyl? So it's that kind of next like upsell, but again, it's a collector side of it. It's like buying stuff. Do you really need that kind of stuff? <laughs> well, what's the worst one I've got? Now, I'm not gonna kick myself because I think I paid a pound for this at a boot sale. 10,000 BC. Not only is the film bad. Um, quite a good front cover, you know, the bit where he makes friends with the saber tooth tiger. Of course he does. Um, the problem with this is, if you look at this early edition of a Blu-ray, all that shit, you rip off the back of the box like I did before. That's the back of the box. It's just that shit. Like this stuff comes off, this stuff goes away. It shouldn't be the disc. Predators is like this, and I've never bought Predators at a reasonable price because Predators, waffle on the back, should just come off, poof, gone, like gone. Do you see it on the back of there? No, did you see Rampage? Did I save it? No, it's gone. Inside, look at that. To me, fuck all, you know what I mean, and it's like, that's to me when they don't make any effort so that's another thing where there's effort inside ghostbusters the jock series where they're all illustrations and all that fucking stunning inside really bad logos killer but then you get some like make the effort now if i just go on about that waffle there and let's just have a look at stand by me and the burbs all right burbs it's got walton and queenie inside and then run away from bees. At least they fill the void. Look at Clopex car in the back. Stand by me. And you get a picture of the four guys. And that's, you know what I mean? When you get nothing in it, it's like, wow. 
So thanks for watching this video. Goodbye. Oh, so you watch this video. You tell me what's your favourite steelbook and what's your worst steelbook. It's something we don't do often, so drop a comment down below. Hi, right, goodbye for now.